The diffusion mechanism is slightly more complicated because of the process of recombination. So the recombination of charge carriers occurs as these charge particles diffuse from the area of higher concentration to lower concentration. So we will deal with this complexity when we talk about continuity equation. For now, let's derive the expression for diffusion current. Let's denote the particle flux density by phi. Particle flux density is simply the number of particles crossing a unit area per second. It's nothing more, it just denotes the number of carriers crossing a unit area per second. So for electron, let's use phi n. So the particle flux density phi n is equal to, that is of free electron is phi n equal to, so it should be proportional to the concentration gradient that is it is proportional to dn by dx. So because of how this derivative is defined we will have a minus sign we will discuss about it later and the proportionality constant here is dn that is the diffusion coefficient. Now by multiplying the particle flux density into the charge of that particle we can get the current density due to diffusion. So jn that is the current density due to diffusion so what we need, we need to multiply it with the charge of the carrier. So we know that the charge of an electron is minus Q. So we have minus Q into minus dn, that is the diffusion coefficient into the concentration gradient dn by dx. So what we will get finally is Q into dn into dn by dx. Similarly, we can write for holes. So whole particle flux density we can denote it using phi p. So that will be minus the cons the constant will be dp in the case of holes signifies that the diffusion coefficient of electron is different from that of holes. So they have different energies and they tend to diffuse differently into the concentration gradient of holes. So I have now got a little bit more space here. So jp diffusion will be equal to, so charge of a hole is plus Q. So plus Q into minus dp into dp by dx. So we will get minus Q dp into dp by dx. So these are the equations for diffusion due to electrons and that of holes. So you must remember that the diffusion, you know, the diffusion current does not depend on the actual number of charge carriers but on its gradient. It is not dependent on the actual number but on the concentration gradient of difference. In the next video we will be discussing about transport equations and after that we will see about the effect of recombination and how we can generate this concentration gradient in a material in detail.